Hey, Jamal. Good. How you doing? It is Saida, right? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Great. <laughs> um, so first, I, I was really interested in talking to you two, particularly because I'm I'm in New York City. I was born here, but I wasn't raised here. But I, but for the first time, I went to Broadway and checked out some some Broadway plays. I've checked out three since I've been here. Wow. And I always hear about how actors take stuff they learned on, um, you know, on Broadway uh, to, to film. But I wonder, as uh, renowned and uh, actors with accolades from, from the stage, is there anything that you take from being on, on the screen back to the stage? Is there any skills yeah. that you pick up from there? That's a good question. It is a good question. The only, I've, I haven't done much theater since I've been doing more film and TV, but I did do a play a couple of years ago and I did it in between seasons of a sitcom. And on a sitcom, you walk out and you're like, I'm funny. And everyone's like, you're funny. <laughs> and going back on stage and realizing that there was not um, a warm up comedian who was pumping people up that I had to really, I, had, I couldn't rest on the sort of patter of, um, of a sitcom sort of line joke setup that I had to do it myself was humbling, um, mm. scary, but yeah. but thrilling because it gets you back in touch with, you know, really listening to other actors on stage, listening to the audience. Yeah, I, I'm actually not sure because, uh, you know, film and TV work is so uh, much smaller mm -hmm. and more, even more specific. I think I brought even more specificity to my theater work because in theater, I'm just, you know, ah, I get to express to 800 people all the time. It's wonderful. Feed me, feed me. But um, I brought more specificity, I would think. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. That's yeah. a great question. It is a good question. Uh, it's like for doing a, a show like this that's based off of uh, you know, Penny Penny Marshall's movie was that? Did that have to be part of the source material as you prepare for the role to go back and watch the movie, or did you just take this this role just as is as as a new product? I was excited enough about the show and the cast and and the concept of it that I didn't need to rush out to watch the movie again before I went and auditioned. I was like, please sign me up, please, please, please let me be a part of this show. Um, but of course I did, and it's. It's great. I think the show really inhabits that sense of um, girl power and uh, a community and sort of scrappy go-getting mm -hmm. and spirit, but expands on that in a huge way. And so I will speak to that, that kind of expansion that was not in the film. Oh, yes, because I didn't see myself in the film. So, I mean, I knew of the film, but I think for Tony, who considers Max's obsession with baseball to be a hobby, not a real job, <laughs> you know, it was, wasn't that important to me. That's great. You like that? Okay, are you done? Okay, because now I want you to get into the family business. Now I want you to represent the family even more in our African-American community. Tony has other plans, so that's not important to her. Yeah, and uh, I mean, there's always these discussions, uh, uh, this question is for you, Saida, about how the black community may hold some, uh, some elements of homophobia. Do you think some of that roots from uh, characters like the character you're playing a parent being saying like, you have these obstacles and I, and I don't want you to also have these obstacles also, or do you think that's part of it that people are just like, you know, you you don't want to be double discriminated against? <laughs> or right. Like that. Right. I think so, uh, I think specifically with Tony, I it's not homophobia. I will say that I'm, yeah, I'm not yeah, suggesting yeah. that. But I, one yeah. of the things in taking the role, I said I don't want people to think Tony is homophobic because I truly don't think she is. But I think it's about having a fear for how your child is going to be yeah. able to live safely and securely. And she's an African-American woman from jump. How am I going to make uh, create a life for her that can protect her? How can I continue to protect her after she's left the house, right? Yeah. So go ahead and re represent me. Join my business. I've laid this out for you. Follow this road. And she does it because that's actually not her journey. And 
discovering that. I, I do think that a lot of it is protection for your child because you don't know how society is going to treat them. I do think there's some homophobia due to religion, a variety of things. But yeah, you don't you don't want them to be double uh doubly uh what offended or 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 discriminated against thank you discriminated against that's nobody wants their kid to be yeah yeah well, I, I, I always love to see you I, 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 it's great to see you i'm a i'm a breaking bad fanatic for the better call saul Word. <laughs> so, so it's great to see you in, in, on here and i uh, can't wait till everybody gets to see this and and talk about it on August 12th. Thank you. For Thank your you. Thank you so much. Great questions. Yeah.